Welcome to Astrofox, your favorite YouTube channel. So today we'll discuss uh, about Mandi. Okay. So a lot of discussions is being going on around Mandi. Uh, some people say Mandi and Kulika are one and the same. Uh, Kulika and Mandi are different. Okay. So those who learned Jamukal with us, we already taught them. The calculation also in a very simple way. Right. So one thing what we can understand is Mandi and Kulika are one and the same. But the usage sometimes varies. Okay. What is that? All those things we will see. Okay. But now let us go to the Mandi. Why Mandi is important? Why Mandi is important is the first question. Okay. Why Mandi is important is because only with the help of Mandi, even uh, the great son of Ravana, Indrajit, was killed. Okay, only with the help of Mandi, Ravana himself was killed. Okay, so just like we have the nine Navagrahas, we have the nine Upagrahas. Okay, we have like Artha Pragna, hmm? Indra Dhanush, like that many Upagrahas we have, Yamaganta. But in all that, very, very important is this Mandi. Because Mandi means the first thing that comes to our mind is death, Durmarnam. All these things comes to our mind whenever we say about uh, Mandi. But we should uh, also keep one thing in mind. Mandi is not always bad. Understand? Mandi is always not bad. Just like in Pambu, in uh, Jamakol, we say Pambu is not always bad. Whenever it is uh, concerned with the in vitro fertilization or test tube baby, Pambu is the best. Understand? So every Karaka has a positive and negative. Though Mandi is seen in a negative way, there are positives also for that. Okay, so we'll see what are the positives, what are the negatives, all those things about Mandi. In fact, in Kerala, uh, the usage of Mandi is very, very big in uh, uh, what is that? All these uh, temple prashnas or any kind of prashnas, just with the Mandi, they'll be able to say many things. They will say, in your house, there is a Durmarna. Uh, well, uh, if you have to go to your house, definitely you have to cross a graveyard. Means, if your house is like uh, two kilometers from A to B, definitely in between you should cross a graveyard. It doesn't mean house is very next to graveyard. Okay, there are dark cases also, but definitely at least this will uh, be there. So that is what they are trying to say. So like that, Mandi has his own uh, legacy, I can say. Okay, and with the help of Mandi, they will also say, Okay, if there is a Pitra Dosham, if you have forgotten to give Tarpanas, or if there is a death of youngest brother in the family, understand, or some pregnant lady has died, and uh, if there is some Deva Kuttam, means uh, God curse, or some Sarpa, do, Sarpa curse, okay, all those things uh, they are able to tell with Mandi. Just with Mandi, they will, they will shock you, understand, but it is not something which you cannot learn. Okay, which you also can learn. Of course, I have done some PPT for you all to understand better. We will go through it. Then definitely you will get a uh, bigger perspective. Okay. So I said Mandi Maha Mandi. Why? Because Mandi is the only planet which is equivalent uh, to Saturn. Because the legend it is associated he is son of Saturn. We know in uh, astrology, any Karaka, any Bhava which is associated to Saturn signifies delay, unusual delay. Okay, not delay, unusual delay. If uh, sun is taking one month to cross a Rashi, Saturn will take that is like 30 months to cross, sorry, 30 days to crash a Rasi. Saturn will take 30 months to cross that Rasi. So everything gets delayed, everything is dark, it's gloomy, lethargicness. Okay. So only we called Manda. The son of Manda is called as Mandi. Understand? So these things are very, very important. And uh, second thing, uh, if you want to know how this Mandi came, there are two ver many versions. Okay. For two of the versions, uh, sounds more logical. 
uh, we all know like this uh, Ravana was uh, having the control of all the Navagras, everybody. So he used to ask them sleep facing the earth and used to walk on them like a bed. So once uh, Narada told him, see, you are a very big uh, Veera. You are the uh, biggest emperor on this universe. So you should ask, you should rather ask them to see the sky and walk on their chest like that, he told. Okay. So that the Shani's Vakra Parvai, that is the uh, Saturn's side is not good in any horoscope for that matter. So while doing that, the Saturn's uh, eyesight Ravana and from that day it was the downfall of Ravana. Uh, because Saturn's uh, eyesight which fell on him and that is how even Mandi was born like that. There is one legend. And another story what they say is um, like um, uh, Saturn, uh, Ravana wanted all the nine planets to stand in 11th house. Okay. So that uh, his son Indrajit will not have uh, any death. Understand? Because Ravana himself was a very good astrologer. But um, Saturn doesn't want this to happen. Okay, so what he does, slowly he keeps his leg backside. Understand? So then, Ravana cuts his leg. So one of the legs goes and falls into the ascendant. That leg which fell into the ascendant is called as Mandi. So if you are having Mandi in ascendant, Aspected by 11th house Saturn, Saturn in the 11th house and Mandi in the Lagna, definitely that person will have severe health problem. Either they may they may have a malfunctioning in ears, they have a defective eyes or some kind of health issues. Understand? This is quite evident. So just the position of Mandi in Lagna itself cannot cause you uneasiness. But if there is a 11th house Saturn, I am not saying a 7th house Saturn. 7th house Saturn will also have an aspect in Lagna. But if there is a 11th house Saturn, and that is aspecting the Mandi in Lagna, that is quite dangerous. So like that, we have many things to discuss. So to know a fair idea and to give stunning results just with the help of Mandi, it may take four to five hours of class. Understand? We are not here to just say Mandi in first house, Mandi in second house, like that say for two hours means it will hardly take 20-30 minutes, but that is not the objective. Okay, if you only study five minutes, you will be able to make, sorry, if you are only able to study 5 hours, then only in 5 minutes you will be able to make difference to your chart. What the other astrologer was not able to predict, you will give that extra 30%. It will be just shocked. How is this, this person able to notice? Why? Most of them don't take the position of Mandi. They consider maybe it's important only in Prasna. Understand? And few others don't even consider uh, Mandi uh, in prediction. Okay, but when you consider this, so only they say Upagraha. Upagraha means there is some meaning for it. Especially Mandasan Mandi. Okay. That will make a huge difference. So today as a first part. Okay. We will see uh, how certain things you can cross verify in your horoscope. Definitely once you start cross verifying in 10-15 charts. You will come back and comment in the charts. So this is a very wonderful technique. Because these are professional astrology secrets. Understand. So you don't find it in the books. But of course our aim is to spread the knowledge. So go through it slowly. Don't skip anywhere. Okay. Listen to the complete video. Definitely, I can promise you, your prediction level will improve at least 10 to 15 percent. I said, if you go through the entire Mandi, five hours, you will improve 30 to 25 percent, what others are not able to say. But if you go through this video, definitely 10 to 15 percent of knowledge will make difference to the your analysis. Okay. Now, yeah, before going to that, we, anyhow, like we have a certain recorded course. Okay, so if you are interested, you can buy them. And one thing today I want to give, tell you all is, today we have the Shankranti offer. That is today and tomorrow, 15th and 16th. So three courses, Prasadam Secret of Siddhas, Tambula Prasadam, Marriage Matchmaking. It will be only 5,000. Also, also for you all, because you all are supporting me, right? By viewing everything, it motivates me. So I will give you the Jamakul book, Prasadam uh, book also freely courier. For all these three courses, I will send the notes courier. Plus, as a compliment, if you are buying only today and tomorrow, okay, I'll give you a Jamukal personal book also as a compliment. Understand? So, you can start fresh with the new year with new topics. Okay. And other things, Nadi Jyotisham, Tantric, Astronumerology, Burbat Jamukal Prasanam, 
all these things in number of videos i put the course information everything is there so i don't want to waste your time and my time also explaining what is the content okay everything is there go through them after seeing the content if you feel you want to study you are most welcome to learn understand because anything you are studying you should have, have fair idea right buddha himself told investigate fairly then only accept the truth okay so mandi usually like i said the first thing whenever you say to mandi it either prashna will come in that prashna death will come and they will say okay yes, of course mandi is also used to calculate the death sputa and all but more than that okay uh, mandi means not only that i'll tell you why mandi means not only that okay so what are other things usually comes in our mind destruction loss something spoiled decaying okay something lost a person who's lost a object which is lost something which will not return okay somebody is untimely dead unconventional death like dying in an accident getting drowned in water taking poison understand all this unconventional death dying at the age of 30 32 alpha you within 32 years okay and whenever you put a prashna very strongly it will indicate in jamakal prashna or more so in choli prashna mandal very strongly it indicate the person has not honored his ancestors his pitrus very easily i can say n number of uh, puja pariyara remedy whatever you do if you are not given the proper tarpanams to your ancestors and if you don't do the puja at least once in a year in direct your kula devata you will have one unbearable pain in your life and that will not be recovered okay so kula devata and pitrus never ever uh, forget it okay there are certain things somebody who is going for treasure hunting and all also they will use the mandi's position and they will identify understand for this people they will do good and medicine is yes, mandi it's like a doctor okay in the most of the doctors chart so close to 25 30 doctors i have seen till now okay so 20 doctors from us itself a uh, gastroenterologist and uh, surgeons and in india some uh, 10 doctors also i have seen okay and one of the clients uh, son was doctor so he brought close to 20 matching itself <laughs> match making itself visa so like that i said 30 but it will go more than 50 60 also understand but few were only match making but in detailed analysis when we made most of the charts of this uh, doctors were connected with the mandi in good places so that is what i said mandi need not be negative for all in uh, most horoscopes of doctor food business okay and uh, people who do like all minute things like uh, astro astral phenomena like astrophysics okay nanotechnology microbiology phlebotomy uh, where you draw the blood right so blood is involved silicon how do you do silicon means uh, after killing the silicon only they take the silk so all that is involving death those kind of uh, thing or killing the uh, this cow or sheep for leather right in those people also we are able to find this mandi associated in 2 6 10 and 11 houses okay so you need not worry mandi is in second house oh will i get out of the family no you may become a doctor or a self healing person or healing others understand so this kind of things will also be there whenever mandi is in 2 6 10 11 so mandi is not always bad okay now like i said uh, this mandi is upagraha okay usually there are nine upagrahas okay we generally call them gulikaadi nalvar dhumaadi aivar they say in tamil dumadi aivar gulikadi nalvar so who are those gulikadi nalvar yamaganta in south it is very uh, special people don't do any good work in rahukalam and yamaganta but need not be the case yamaganta can be avoided on thursday other days i think uh, you can still use the yamaganta kalam but it's a general practice to avoid the rahukalam and yamaganta more so the rahukalam so yamaganta is nothing but jupiter's son artha pragnan is mercury's son and uh, kalan is son of sun and murti is also son of mars so these are all calculations are very easy okay just like rahu kala memo kattam these also will have one and a half hours duration only very easy calculations if you are interested you can uh, post in the comment okay i can put you the calculation table also one day okay uh, that we can do but now we'll concentrate more on the predictive par- purpose because early we have like 30 to 45 minutes of time so let us make the best utilization of that and uh, next we have is dhuman the dhuma adi aivar just like the fog the cloud its appearance only they called dhuma the cigarette uh, smoke covid gums right like that 
Okay, I don't smoke, but I'm just giving you the example. Vyati Patan, Parivedan, Indra Dhanus, and Duma Ketu is nothing but a letter to Ketu. Okay. So now just let us see some common results so that you can relate with the chart. Okay. I may not tell you for all the 12 houses, but one or two houses, if you see, then we'll go to other intricacies. Just if you say Mandi in first house, Mandi in second house, Mandi in third house, then obviously you'll get bored. All houses we'll see one by one. Okay. So today we'll take two or three houses and we'll see what are the results Mandi is saying. If your Mandi is in the first house of your chart, one of the sibling born with the native would have died. Okay. Or the, in either native's family or native himself would have, have some medical background. He may be, even if he is an astrologer, he may be dealing with flower medicine. Understand? Even if he is not a qualified doctor. Somebody would have died in front of him. You, have you heard? Like, see, not all of us can see death in front of us. You go in a car. In front of you, a accident happens and spot, spot told the person. They will say, sir, in, in, I am not able to still imagine. I am not able to come out of the truck. In front of me, only that accident took place. In front of only he, he, he hanged in the hospital. Understand? All those things will take place. You know, there is a mandi in the uh, first house. And any head related disease like sinus or head tumor. Understand? And difficulty in pregnancy. That means when this person, when the native was born, you can check. They would have had a cesarean operation or doctor would have told the birth may become complicated. All those things will in Mandi is in his past house. And in his, when you put a prasna chart, also it will indicate. Or rather, whenever you say Mandi in the, in the Lagna, you can ask, are you praying to your ancestors? Are you giving the Tarpanas properly? Miss no, sir, not possible, sir. Actually, my job nature is traveling. So, like it, all those reasons you can say. Whenever Mandi is in the first dose. But if this first dose Mandi is aspected by 11th dose Saturn, definitely it is not at all good for uh, the person. Okay. Mandi in second dose, some teeth problem, or easily they will give the, the decay, or if they breast their tooth, they'll have uh, one kind of feeling, okay, dizzy feeling. And uh, this face discoloration, lot of pimples, okay, some kind of tinges, uh, molds, all those things will come whenever there is Mandi in the second house. And some people will have frequent nose bleeding. Maybe not serious, but wherever they, they, they say Akshi length or something like that, they will get some kind of blood in the nose. Understand? So those are also because of this Mandi. And uh, like I earlier told, whenever Mandi is related to second, six and 10th and 11th, lot of doctors also we have seen. That is what we told, income from medical and food industry. And there is a possibility this person would have invested in something and you would have lost or you would have given money for somebody and they would have not written. This is all quite common. You ask for 100 people, 100 people will also say yes. Maybe one or two, sometimes it may be an exception. If the Mandi is posited in a star, who is in a good position like 11,000, then there is a Raja Yoga. That time it may not do the bad thing. Understand? Otherwise, it's always some kind of financial loss is indicated for the person. Okay. And like I said, previously I said to you, like Mandi's Nakshatra Lord is, or Nakshatra Dispositor is very, very important. Okay. Now let us assume for someone Mandi is in Lagna. Immediately we should not tell, okay, you are having a tumor, you are having a dead problem. See where it is deposited. If it is deposited in the Nakshatra of 6A, it will definitely say health issue. It will not go wrong. You need not take anything else. But if it is situated in the 11th Lord's Nakshatra, and Ascendant Lord is also good, then this is the Raja Yoga. Understand, the person will prosper to the highest level. The self effort, they will lead a kingly life. Many rich people, politicians and all I have seen in this combination. Okay. If Mandi is in ascendant and in a nakshatra of 6, 8, 12, then it is very, very bad. At the same time, it is aspected by third aspect of Saturn. Then that is something very easily you can say the person is not in good shape. And suppose Mandi is in ascendant with the Nichagraha, for example, it is with Venus. He may have diabetes, UTI, urinary tract. Whenever he is going for urine, he may get some irritation, kidney stones, hormonal imbalance. All those uh, Nichagara's planet will, he will suffer. And uh, maybe problems in marital life also is possible in case of a male. Understand? So these are the things you should always uh, try to understand from. So now we will also see uh, some other uh, things. <clears throat> like suppose a person is having uh, Mandi in Lagna. For this purpose, I will take uh, example as 
mesh lagna okay we can you can take any lagna for that matter okay i am taking mesh lagna so it will be easier for you all to uh, pictureize and uh, let us assume mandi is there only in the lagna but it is in the nakshatra of shukra that is barani nakshatra it is posited mesh lagna mandi in barani nakshatra now barani is what lord this is second lord understand this is second lord and you already we saw income through food industry income through microbiology income through medicine all that we saw definitely it will be good financial result provided this shukra should not be tithi shunya tithi shunya sir ashwini sir prathama ditiya like that you all know tithi shunya i think lot of uh, articles is written in hr seshadri years book everything but with just that you will not be able to give prediction tithi shunya means you have to analyze it from kala purusha's view Five to six hours knowledge is needed. Okay, I'm just promising you. Okay, Mandi, uh, Gochara Dago. Okay, Tithi Sunya, Badak Adipati, uh, Kendra, uh, Trikona, Vakra. Like this, some twenty concepts are there. Three to four hours or maximum five hours concepts. For each concept is like four to five hours concept. If you learn this twenty hours concept, definitely if you get a chart, eighty percent of his life you will tell off. Okay. So fifth lad in first hour, second lad in first hour, all this will come later only. Because see, all of you have learned that first lad in first hour is what it happens. But when you apply to the charts, usually first thing will happen is you are stuck where to start and where to end. But with these things, these are definite pointers. If you ask him, he will say yes. Sir. Okay. If you ask about this Badaka Dipati, whatever I am going to teach you, if he he will say yes. You take the ragu. What is present in this, this today? You know, you connect. There are three hundred points. You can say you ask. He will say yes. Then automatically you are building the rapport with the client. Okay. Then whatever you say, you will say yes. Because that work siddhi will automatically come. When there is a positive energy between you and the client, automatically you will get the work siddhi. Understand? Apart from your Kuladeva Taradana, your Ishtadeva Taradana, work siddhi also gets only when there is a positive energy flow. For that, first you should establish a rapport. Understand? Otherwise, studying hundreds of Samhita is also not useful. Because in this past 20 years, I have come across all this. So I am just sharing my tips. There may be more knowledgeable persons. Yeah, in fact, most most of them watching here will be knowledgeable persons, okay, than me. But I'm just sharing those things which I have come across so that I'm making easier for the few people uh, for whom they have got stuck. And even those who are doing for a very long time, maybe some ten percent of information which they don't know, I'm trying to give it to you all. Understand? So in astrology, uh, there should be always one thing. What is that? Is Uh, you should be open to accept. Understand? Uh, what what a teacher who is having forty years experience? There is a possibility you would have not studied the other part of the story, right? So whenever there is openness, the subject will grow. So that is what I keep saying to you all. More than the what is that? Uh, uh, what they say? Lightning predictions. Uh, getting the strong subject and then giving stunning predictions will be more helpful. Okay, so just sharing my personal views. That's all. And now, okay, now let us go. Suppose same Mandi is in the second house, and the nakshatra of eighth lord or lagna lord. Okay, then there will be many blocks, obstacles, or some durmarnam. We already saw if the Mandi is in first house, we told durmarnam or the death will take place in front of his eyes. Okay, it related problem. That is more severe when the same is there in the nakshatra of eighth lord. Okay, then that is quite evident. Okay, these things are very very important. Now, suppose Mandi is in three, six, ten, eleven, then it is generally good. Why I told what generally good? Again, the nakshatra's connection is also very very important. But generally, it will be give good results. But if it is three, six, ten, eleven, and it is getting associated with eight, then the amount of good is reduced. At the same time, it is getting to connected to badaka, then worst. So those complex things will see, but now as of now you remember three, six, ten, eleven is generally good. Suppose Mandi is in third, but it should not be eighth or twelfth lord nakshatra. Then it is a problem. Then what happened? Third is document. Eighth means he would have lost the document, okay? Or somebody would have cheated him in the documents, okay? Or whatever documents he may buy that may end up in uh, litigation, okay? And third is eighth to eighth house. There can be suicidal attempt. Or his thoughts will be going on for a very long time. These are bad things also will be coming. Suppose Mandi is in third and in the nakshatra fifth or eighth lord nakshatra, 
then there will be some dead body in the ancestral land once we came sir i brought a eight acres land sir actually it is our ancestral land only after fight litigation everything i brought that but i could see after uh, two years uh, some dead body when we are trying to clean sir like that also we have seen uh, forget about land one of the temple renovation one of the guy wanted to do so very old small temple they wanted to uh, dig the around everything for construction there was a dead body coming up in temple then they told maybe it's some of the swami or who was very long back 200 years or 100 years whatever they told but it's like very old uh, dead body is like that they told in that we could uh, easily see the end person who was doing the dharmakarta there the five and uh, eight were connected to the third mandi okay so these are our uh, observations of course knowledge is got from the guru and the book but in our observations also you are seeing strikingly very true not one year, two year. I'm, in the last 15 years, I'm seeing this. Okay, the first five years, I was only with the planets. But after that, I opened up. Okay, when I opened up to Nadi, then I opened up to these kind of knowledges. Okay, so they made a very big difference. Like I said, in Kerala, without the Mandi, nothing will move. Okay, then you can understand what is the importance of Mandi. Suppose one person is having Mandi in 6th house or 6th nakshatra, then he will defeat enemies. Ketavan Ketadil Kittidam Rajayagam. That means a bad plant in bad house will give good result. But that good result is only limited to materialistic. But his health will take a toll. We will see live charts, uh, everything when I show. Mandi in 4th house and connected to 8th or 12th or connected to Saturn or Sun, then definitely there is some problem in land or property of the house. And also, whenever Mandi is in 4th house, only you can observe. For example, a person is going from point A to point B. In the two or three kilometers, uh, there will be a graveyard or very nearby there will be a graveyard. Understand? And you can see some people will say, Sir, whenever I sleep in my home, I can see somebody is like pushing me like with some kind of uh, noise, jewel noise I can hear. All these are Mandi photos. Okay. And Mandi does severe damage only when connected to 8th or 12th or Badakadipati. Badakadipati means for Chara Lagna it is 11th house, for Sthira Lagna it is 9th house and for Uvay Lagna it is 7th house. This is very shortly I have said. It requires three to four hours. We will take that also. Okay, it's a wonderful concept. Badakadipati concept is a wonderful concept. Provided you have learned from a teacher who is having that much experience in that. Okay. In books, they would have stopped just to these three lines. Chara, Stira, Uvaya, 11, 9 and 7. But it is beyond that. We will see all those things. Suppose Mandi is in fifth house. We should not immediately tell child will die. Whenever a month is related to uh, that particular house, some bad event related to that house will take place. But immediately you should not tell. Like I tell, it should be connected to 6th Lord. Okay, or it should be connected to 8th or 12th Nakshatra. Or there should be a connection of Badakadipati. Then if we say it will be correct. Otherwise you should say some health issue will be there. Understand, if it is connected to 6th house, you should tell health issue is there. If it is connected to 8th, then only death. If it is connected to 12th, then also we can say some abortion took place. Okay, if it is connected to 6th and Badakadipati, then health will spoil simultaneously that will lead to death. Like that we should uh, get into fragments then stitch together. Mandi in 6th Bhava will give health problem but defeat enemies. But if it is related to 8th or 12th, then serious health issues, may, uh, hospitalization, all those things can give. And we saw Mandi in 6th house can also give medical business, food business and it will be profit if it is in 10th or 11th because these are improving houses. Uchi, they will say Uchi in Tamil means Mandi in 7th Bhava, don't tell directly marriage problem I have told. That means, Mandi 7th house is also related to 2nd son, 1st son is 5th house. So don't directly tell, ah, Mandi you are having 7th house, your marriage is out. No. Mandi in 7th house, and see the connections of that Mandi in which nakshatra deposit it is there. And one more thing also I will tell. This rule you all remember. Whenever Mandi is in 11th house, I told one thing. What is that? Uh, it will cause, uh, I mean, Saturn in 11th house and Mandi in Lagna, it will cause problem. But Mandi in 11th house, you see, the person will have some problem with respect to first child. Either the first child, it will be his constant problem or after many years, they would have got first child or first child will have some autism or mental disorder or some kind of handicapness or first child will have some stammering. Okay, with respect to first child, they will have some unhappiness if Mandi is in 11th Bhava. Understand? And if Mandi is in 12th house, definitely there will be two operations done in their life. Okay, now don't tell you are 25 years and you are not done. 
Okay, if you completed 50 years, you tell me. <laughs> okay, so uh, our one operation they did immediately another operation. Okay, minimum two operations or one operation immediately another operation will come when Mandi is in 12th house. Mandi should be carefully observed when connected with third aspect like Saturn, Rahu or Ketu. Rahu Ketu will, will do slowly. Now, as of now, we remember Saturn is very, very important. Mandi in Yogi point will do good and Mandi in Avayogi point will do bad. Yogi, Avayogi are very wonderful concept and Sahayogi also is there. But again, in Shesha three years book also, the information is very limited. Though we should appreciate him for him bringing out that knowledge, but it has been limited. But yeah, to, to know how this Yogi and Avayogi is coming, that is sufficient. But to know this, definitely we need uh, some 10-15 charts. Okay. Avayogi, we can even put it in worshipal. Understand? If your birth yogi is also yogi in uh, worshipal, it's an excellent year for you. If you want to go and check which channel uh, year where birth yogi was yogi in the worshipal, we check that the red bear would have been very nice. But Avayogi should not come and get connected. That's all. Okay. When Mandi and Saturn are connected, there is a good financial success. Oh, somehow Mandi is trying to do good also. Okay, when connected to second house, but it will give some eye problems also. Vision will be poor. Okay, if we, uh, Shukra is also afflicted, then vision will become very bad. And when Mandi in Lagna and aspected by Saturn's third aspect, that will happen only if Saturn is in 11th house, which I already told you, it will give major health issue. Now, I said everything. Now the next thing that will come to your mind is what is the remedy? Of course, we are planning to conduct even remedy class for 10 days because it has been a constant request from students who studied with us, Nadi, everything. I am planning to take uh, 10 days remedy class. Okay. However, classes are very practical. Remedies also will be very practical. But as of now, I already told you, Mandi means one foot which got cut and fell in the lagna. So wherever you see God standing in one feet, like in Gaya, I heard like the... the Worship only the foot. I have not gone to Gaya, but I have heard. But similarly, Nataraja, if you see Nataraja standing in one leg and dancing, right? So we have places like Tiruvalangadu, Chidambaram, Nataraja, like wherever you have this Nataraja temple, there you can go. Then Shadari, Shadari means they'll keep it on the head. If you go to any Vishnu temple, the foot is the Shadari, they'll keep it on the head, right? So if you donate that Shadari to any temple also, you will uh, get rid of this Mandi Dosha easily. See how easy our remedies are, very practical. And very logical also. Okay, fine. So next, we'll go to the next slide. So here we'll see the Mandi in different houses. I need not tell the, all the 12 houses. If I'm able to save you three, four houses, you should be able to uh, do for the remaining eight. If you're not able to understand, then put in the comment column. Definitely we can take the remaining eight also. No issues. Here is Mandi. All take the Kalapusha Atva, fever, hair loss, grey hairs, head related problem, red blood cell. Why? Because uh, that is also house of Mars, hemoglobin problem, Pitta, heat related problem, BP fluctuations, Taurus Mandi, land sign, it's a land sign, fixed sign, problems or litigations is land, unable to get the ancestral property, skin related problems. Some one in the family having marital life. Someone in the family is getting, he is 35 years, still he is not getting married. Or he is a divorcee or a widow. Sudden death of life strike like cow or eye problem. Or suddenly the dog will die in that house. All those things will happen whenever Mandi is in Taurus sign. Gemini, shoulder problem, hand problem, ENT problem, thyroid. Definitely they will have some kind of respiratory problem. Asthma. Understand? Wheezing. Cancer Mandi, danger to water because it is the first watery sign. Too much of excessive fat, water body, you will say, he is a water body, he will say, right? Like that. So for Simma, okay, you can say they should take care of heart, heart problems, digestion issues, stomach belching, okay, and ancestral property problems. So like that, you can keep adding to them, okay. Only when you try this, you will become a good astrologer, you will develop that intuition. If all 12 Rashi I put, it is not good. Of course, to get the right knowledge, you may need it. But right from your end, definitely I'll put. And one very, very important thing you have to understand is, whenever this Mandi is aspected by Jupiter, okay, done out. Now, usually whenever we say connection, we will take aspect as well as conjunction. Here, conjunction is bad. But if it is an aspect of Jupiter, 
then it does significantly very good results for the person. Okay. All those things we will see that now. Okay. I'll take two case studies. I will show you a well-known chart. In the class, I will do real-time case studies because as students, they will be knowing me. But for when you are, somebody is listening for the first time, only if I put for the well-known chart, then I can validate. All right. Then slowly, we can put the live charts also. So before we go to the next slide, probably we'll see the case studies which you are waiting for. So we are going to conduct this transit route class. So usually what happens uh, either in your parasite system or in your Nadi system, what you will learn. Of course, in our Nadi, we teach much, but even there also you are limited only to 40, 50 results. If you are in uh, Parashari, they will say whenever Rahu is in 3611 or 36111, uh, conquering of uh, enemies, success, uh, and uh, wealth, health, and uh, longevity like that, they will say. Everything will remain the same, only the Bhavas will change. And in Nadi, what we will say, when J Rahu is going on Jupiter, some health issues, some kind of dangers, Rahu is going on father, uh, son, health issue to father, suppression from father, okay, and Rahu is going on moon, uh, suppression from mother or ill to mother, or mind problem, or travel to a distance place, or uh, some kind of bad habits, Okay, these are the things we will say. Max to max, some 50, 60 Karakas we say. But what if you are able to say, you change the toothpaste in this last one year. You change the regular supermarket. You, uh, there was a, in the last three months, in your house, there was a water leakage and you change the tap. Understand? And what if you say, okay, you have changed the color of your house. Do you think yes, everything is possible? That is the reason we told, uh, hold the snake and predict everything. In Tamil, there is a snake. Pamba Puruchi Padana Sunday. Pamba means snake. That is the reason Rahu Ketu is so extensively prayed in South. Okay, even Kala Asti temples dedicated for what's Arbodasham only, right? right? So the DNA, those who study the Nadi also will know, like this Rahu Ketu or the DNA. So here, when this Rahu is going on each planet, it will give more than 30 to 35 results. You ask those things to that client, you will say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You will say whether this guy has got some. Uh, magician or what? I am not exaggerating, but the transit Rahu, you forget Saturn, you forget Jupiter, okay, it will not give you such astonishing results in the transit. Of course, for few people will be able to time it for the marriage and for few people for career. But if you want to go inside a person's mind, if you want to go inside a person's house, if you go inside a person's thing and say what is happening for him now, currently what is uh, undertaking to giving such stunning secrets, this uh, transit row is very, very important. So we have nine planets close to 270. That is what I called 300 pointers and 12 bhavas. Yeah? Again, 360 pointers. And uh, minimum, though, I'll take 10. I'll put 10, generally, I'll take 15, 20 people who attended, they know. So like the stunning results, you can learn these five hours. Like I said, transit row, badakadipati. Like there are some 15, 20 topics. It will take you a one year to master. But in this one, two years, you master. Definitely, I can promise you, you can take it to a different level. I am not just saying for the sake of promoting because I kept the fees also very, very less. Generally, for two days class, we will take like 1,500 before and all. And if you see this year, and all, I have not kept any course more than 5,000 for 20 days course also. Like I said in the previous videos, we want knowledge accessible to everyone. Decent fees, 10 days means 5,000. One day course means 650 like that only we will keep. Okay. So that is the point. But you can give amazing uh, subtle secrets. Okay, so definitely hoping to see you all mainly for the professional astrologers. Okay, if you're still as a studying student, may not be that much useful because you're not going to give predictions. But if you're a professional astrologer who's practicing astrologer and we want to build a confidence with the king, definitely this transit travel is very much needed for you. Even uh, transit Saturn, Jupiter, you forget. Even Ketu also not that matter. Ketu also might be required, but with Rahu, we can give 80 to 90 percent of the insights. Okay. So that is the reason I even kept the fees very less. Why? Because people should know why they told all the snake and predict everything. Okay, fine. And next, we will take uh, the case study. So former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, J. J. Lalitha. Everybody knows her, right? So there is there can't be a person who doesn't know Jay Lalitha. Iron Lady of uh, this thing. Why I took the live horoscope so that you can validate. Okay. So once you get the, the knowledge is correct, then we can take many live charts, class charts, everything. Okay. Which I seen to clients. Those I can say up to now 14,000 charts I have seen. Okay. And everywhere I have applied many this concept, Badakadipati concept, 
okay jamakul prashna okay our nadi kaksha everything i will apply and i'll make a database and i'll write it on the dairy and i'll keep today even if you visit my house there is a full this much of dairy filed four five six slab and my iron casting slab also i kept because these experiences when you look back it will teach you a lot of lessons now with the help of this uh, ai artificial intelligence and all you can do wonders fine now if you see in our chart let us not go to any other planetary positions anything okay rahu uh, in ascendant there is a mandi okay and this mandi uh, it is in the nakshatra of mars okay this uh, mandi is in the nakshatra of mars so though mandi is in ascendant we should directly not say she is a sick body or issues of course she had health issues there is a reason for that why because mandi is in the lord of 6th and 11th because it's 11 and you see it is also aspected by jupiter also i told uh, when mandi is in good position nakshatra wise and aspected jupiter it gives enormous yoga okay so very easily we can see uh, what is the position she, uh, she rose and also see ascendant and mandi both are in gemini which is a dual sign and see what is the mercury sign is is indicated green color now see what is the symbol of that party of course it was there before or also but with that symbol only she won the election two leaves huh? gemini mandi there in the 11th lot and jupiter is aspecting it i told jupiter aspecting mandi is excellent in the previous slide i told you now we could see the result but because that also was sixth lord that is the reason she had health issues understand everybody you know like how health issues she had in the last 10 years diabetics everything she had right and uh, other things are there because it's a known chart we cannot go into the negative things we'll limit only to the positive things because it's an open forum and of course she had only many positive things in her life to be honest right okay and that is what you are giving here mandi is in brigashira lagna Mandi cannot be controlled by anyone. Whenever a person is having Mandi in Lagna, doctor associated with Mars, she was like an iron lady. Nobody can question her. Right? That was the audacity. Uh, audacity is the wrong word. That was the, what is that? Courage of the lady. Okay. And uh, be because it is the sixth, she defeated all as a single lady. When uh, something untowards happened to her in assembly, she promised. I'll come to this assembly only after becoming chief minister. She came, she chased everyone. At the same time, because it is an ascendant and related to sixth house, she had to suffer a lot to her health. Okay. And uh, some other information, like I said earlier, whichever bhava is related, it will give you a problem with respect to that. That you have to elaborate only if it is related to uh, six, eight, twelve or Badakadipati. Okay, generally, in general, Mandi, if it's related to good bhava, it will give bad results. If it's related to 3, 6, 10, 11, it will give good results. And next is Karnanidhi. Understand? He was also ex-chief minister of Tamil Nadu. Unfortunately, both of them are not there today. His son is ruling the state. For him also, if you see, Mandi is in third house. I told Mandi in 3, 6, 10, 11 is good. Okay? Now, let us see the Nakshatra Dispositor. Nakshatra Dispositor, I think it's in Uttra. So, Uttra Palugani is the sun. Sun is where? It is in the 11th house. Sun is in the 11th, sorry. Sun is the second house lord. Sorry, Sun is the second house lord. It is in the 11th house. So, second and 11th. Second and 11th combination itself is a Raja Yoga. Okay, second and 11th combination itself is a Raja Yoga. We have heard second lord going, Dhanakaraka going to Labasthana, it will give profits after profits. And we could see that. We could uh, see that. And it is in the nakshatra of Sun. And what was his symbol? Uday Suryan, the rising sun. Even they have a channel, Sun TV, right? They are also the rising sun. So you can see how much famous they had become. Why? It's all because of Mandi sitting in a good position, not only in a good position, but related to Dhanakaraka and in the Labasthana Adipati. Understand? But because it is uh, also related to uh, sun and moon, the Mandi by dispositing. So he had eye issues very early itself. He has to put specs and uh, he had vision problems in very early part of his life itself understand so health also it is giving the problem understand so but in other way it is giving that big rajoga this kind of secrets you cannot say from mandi see whatever i covered is only 20 percent still 80 percent is left another four hours we need to do this but first go through all those things uh, just try to apply in each of your chart that definitely you will be able to get excellent results so let me say 
you, you always used to say ennadi udan perupugale means the people who are born with me why because mandi is in that third house in the nakshatra house because of that word because he, he was also known as a writer kalenger kalenger means is a poet again third house mandi positively posited see it gave him all that prob, uh, i mean success the only problem was i problem understand why because it is situated in the house of uh, venus venus is a karaka for vision don't tell sun and moon sun and moon are karaka for eyes but vision is given by venus the tejas and mandi in third check the strength of lagnadipati if he is good then all good results your ascendant lord is 11th and exalted but he is in badaka for chara lagna 11th house is badaka understand that is the reason he even had to go for jail not once or twice understand so negative also it will give it will not leave you with that okay but the same rajavaga also it will give many fold his symbol was udayasuran which we already discussed and very very important i already told you this point whenever mandi is in seventh house there will be a problem related to first son his and if you have some doubts please do put comment and if you think it was worth watching share the channel to others which encourages me to put more and more videos on a regular basis and thank you all for your support